Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Matlatter and today we'll be once again delving into the darkest dungeon... Dungeons? Let's say it like that, yeah, why not? So, our plan for today is killing the Sodden crew. The vengeful wraiths threaten to drag all we've built down into the domain of darkness. Give them a sailor's death, once and for all. So, we'll be getting a bunch of crests, we'll be getting the Blasphemous Vial, which is gonna be pretty handy for our Plague Doctor. It gives massive stun skill chance, good blight skill chance, more stress, but also vastly more accuracy for ranged skills, which is gonna come in handy, and bunch of money as usual. It's gonna be a medium length apprentice dungeon, and I've chosen my group. We're taking out Safiel, Bossard, Wissant, and Yannick. Um, you may also notice that we've got a whole lot less money than the last time around. I've taken the liberty to upgrading basically all our guys' stuff to maximum as far as possible, including their skills. So, we should be pretty well prepared, I'd say. Let's hope we are indeed, because we need to survive and make the money. So, this time around I've also already um, equipped everyone with trinkets, as to not forget it again. Our two melee guys have each an Eldritch Slaying item. Um, that should come in handy in the domain we're entering into. So, without further ado, let's go and kill the Sodden crew. We need to take along. Let's take one more holy water, anti-venom, two skeleton keys, one stack of shovels. Um, we don't have vampires, so that's good. Let's actually take two bandages out as well and two medical herbs. Let's be paranoid. Um... Let's take 18 food, and frankly, two full stacks of torches. Let's try that. That should more than suffice. So, let's go. Prying eyes had become a nuisance along the old road, and so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor and a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. Sorry for the noise there. The poor devils, chained and drowning for eternity. So, the crew of the ship that delivered stuff to her ancestor. That could not have gone well either way, I would argue. I'm not sure I even want to know what he got. Uh, right, we can use a shovel right away. Let's go ahead. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Good start so far, especially since we surprised the enemies. So, let's start with killing the front line. Or at least trying to. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Come on, there we go, you're dead. Uh, we won't be quite able to take that guy out, so... Annihilate. Well, scratch that. <laughs> that was a lucky crit. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, so what do we have here then? Stash heirlooms. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Okay, let's hope we don't get suddenly more vampires, because I don't wanna. Well, that was a crit. Solid one. Let's not start off going crazy here, especially you, my friend. Um, I think we're gonna start with the multi-plague, which, by the way, is a totally shitty idea i just seen. They have immense blight resistance, okay. Makes a lot of sense once you think about it, so yeah, let's not continue doing that, shall we? Instead, let's try to kill him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Ha! Huh, we actually managed, though, to <laughs> infect one. Interesting. Uh, can we kill him? Destroyed. Yes, we can! 
That's what I like to see. Ah. Oh well. Good. No vampire. Very good. Still no vampire. That's good. I'd like to really, really, really avoid it this time around. Okay, um... You can only buff someone then. Buff away! Uh, so let's try this, maybe for double kill. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nice! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So let's for now toss two busts for another stack of gold we'll be working on. And let's hope for a bit of scouting. Also, let me quickly check something. Okay, good. Um, I needed to uh, make sure we are in the right recording profile. Uh, that stone we'll leave alone from now on. It's not gonna be released. Well, maybe actually uh, when you watch this episode. Another mariner, another misfortune. I've been recording a bit of a special treat for you guys, a um, bit of a hobby of mine. You're gonna see what it is in time. Maybe you already seen it when this comes out. So, not too tough of an enemy group here. Ah, come on, avoid the pull. Ah, damn. Not too bad, though. Okay, so we're gonna start with tearing this guy apart. Not quite a kill, sadly. Means he'll get his turn, but we dodged. Solid one. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, let's do a demon's pull here. We can maybe get a double kill. Press this advantage. Just like that. Them no quarter. So you then get to move two to the back. Oh, you can only move one to the back. What a shame. Huh, didn't know stress was of a multi hit. The more you know. Let's stun that guy. And then clear all the corpses. Makes it easier to kill that guy. Okay, uh, you have relatively low blight resistance. That is good, that's what I hoped for. Let's buff our Crusader here. Uh, we can get another double kill. Eradicated. Ha <laughs> ha! For the force of you! Doing As good work. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Uh, yeah, let's toss a portrait. Okay, so the giant oyster, um, I think shovel? Yep. Well, that's certainly worth a shovel. <laughs> Easily so. So this is gonna be one of the first bosses I've never fought before. I played this game multiple times, but never all too far. I think the... Highest number of uh, runs I've had uh, measured in weeks, each dungeon being a week, was like 35 or something. A fair bit, but not that much in the grand scheme of things. Ah, empty crate. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be mostly fresh stuff from me from here on out as well. Which is gonna be doubly the fun. I'm gonna try and keep myself obviously away from spoilers. Though I've also already heard one or two things about in may we find victory. Indeed, about the uh, first boss in the vampire area. Apparently it's one of the largest dungeons in the game and you can kind of get back in there once you've been out. I'm gonna have to see how that works out, but uh, sounds weird but also very interesting. Okay, let's go for kills. 
Or don't. So Bossar is gonna be the uh, Buffsar, apparently. Bad joke, I know. Please don't hit me. Um, yeah, let's go for a heal. Ah, damn. I was getting vomited on. Not fun. The will to fight falters. Man, dude, you should have blight resistance up the ass. Why are you blighted? Makes no sense. But I think I, uh, not I, but we have actually the best defense against that stuff. Decimated. Nice. Man, Sophiel is really worth his money right now. Well, if he gets the crit, <laughs> okay, can always uh, kill everything. Continue there the we go. Destroy them all. That was a solid deal. And now, yeah, battlefield medicine. We cure blight and bleed on ourselves and on the target, and the target gets slightly healed. Bam! Three debuffs gone. That shit's amazing. Obliterated. One gone. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Do we have any way to... And how long is the dungeon still? Um, fairly decent bit. We'll probably get at least one more food prompt along the way. You know what, let's toss a torch. And let's take the blood. And in here... Okay, now the harsh decisions begin. Toss the blood, take the deeds. Deeds are vital. Okay, still no scouting, which is kind of sad. And let's restore party order, actually. In the sack we have... Hmm, tiny bit of money. Hey, now we've got two full stacks at least. So that's something. An empty room, but some scouting. Room battle with a curio. Okay, let's tackle that one. We're gonna go for a full exploration run here. Why not? There we go, the food prompt. A handsome reward. Ah, dude, come on. Task well performed. Okay, let's check these crests, actually. We could have used the shovel here to get more out of it. Um, what was that, actually? Um, oh, Plutomania. You were basically like, money! And jump straight in. Okay, uh, here we have an idol. Okay, they don't have much blight resistance, so... Blight away! Solid kill. You're going spear fishing. Okay, our plague doctor definitely needs heals. Oh come on, some better heals please. Don't even start with that bullshit. Man, I always tend to forget how brutally effective Crusaders can be. They are very, very powerful. Okay, so let's clear corpses. Solid dodge there. Okay, so, um, I think best we can actually do with him right now is most likely heal. Because I think Safiel will get the enemies here easily. Unless he misses, which I hope he doesn't. He's got a 9 in 10 chance. A devastating blow. He ends with a crit. That's definitely worth one. Um, let me check something real quick here. Uh, where is it? Okay, here. Uh, yeah, okay. Had to check something with OBS here real quick. Um, I always like to keep it on my second monitor in the foreground so I actually can see the time we're at. 
So we have a fish idol. Um, fish idol, probably holy water. Yeah. More damage until camp. So, okay. Let's try campless run then, because that's a pretty handy buff. Twenty percent more damage is really good. And we don't, after all, absolutely need to make camp, though it could be helpful for the stress levels and everything. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna camp, actually. If we can, once again, shortly before the boss comes around. So, trap chance. Yeah, again, bounty hunter. He knows traps. Can we get a scout? No scout, but a dead whale. Uh, Plutomania again. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Eat journal page. Blood soaked pages from a turn journal. Um, yeah, we've known that one, yeah. Nearly broke my ankle on the rocks, made slick with some ubiquitous slime. We know, we know. All good, man. Another torch, please. There we go, another fight against these freaking sycophants. Uh, he is closing in on uh, being tested. Uh. Hello, Sophiel, you're a vampire now. And he is paranoid. So he'll most likely refuse healing. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Damn, he resisted that one. That's bad. Uh, instead, then, actually go ahead and buff. Because <laughs> plus 45 damage is gonna be good. Oh, come the fuck on. Well, at least two sycophants down. Maybe we'll get another uh, chance at a heal. That would be appreciated. Okay. A zero heal. With bleeding. I'd say paranoia is justified in that moment. Seems like he's trying to kill him. Okay. Heal yourself then. Get the bleeding gun. Oh Jesus, I fucking hate this. Two more for our crew of vampires. Be wary. Um, Triumphant hmm. pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Let's sauce the holy water and take the 750 gold in citrines. The light, the promise of safety. Good, a scouting at least. Another fight in the hallways, and a curio. Oh, hey, some food, most likely. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. And actually, a fairly decent bit more here. Okay, a blighting satchel for the grave robber. Ah. Okay, big question. What we want to toss? Um, medicinal herbs first. We gonna actually take the onyx. I think we all have the blighting satchel, and I'm not using that many blight skills on the grave robber we have, anyways. Okay, that should work out that way. Good. Let's run straight to the next combat then. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Hey, at least we surprised them. So that's gonna be good. Let's actually get this thing to the front if we can and murder it right away. There we go. Bit of a buff. Bit of a heal. You don't wanna. Sucks to be you then. 
So, where wanna do instead? Not where, but what? Words hard. Let's work on the third line here. Because Sarfield should be able uh, to tear the front line apart. Not fully. Let's see how much damage they do now. They can't be real, a hallucination, huh? Oh, Jesus. That's not gonna be good on him. Okay, let's take him out while we can. Um, yeah, in this case, actually, go for the kill up front. Gonna stress everyone out. Let's heal yourself. Good. And quite frankly... Oh, shit. Another bad heal. Reasons why sometimes Vestals are indeed the better healers. They simply have a less erratic healing ability. Okay, you heal that guy. Nice, solid heal there. Come on. Well, that's at least a decent chunk better. And you and him. A decisive pummeling. With indeed a very decisive hit there. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Uh, anything else we can use? You know what? Let's apply a bandage, toss a bandage, and then... Yeah, let's take the portrait for now. 50 gold is not that valuable. Might change if we get more. Yes, yes, your skin burns. Don't whine about it. Okay, we've got the scout. That's good. So another battle. And then free direct line to the boss. But first... Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Um, that reduces stress, I think? A brackish tide pool. Nice! Anti-venom actually works, and it healed! Hmm. Not bad. We're hungry. That's workable. And a torch here. That's good. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Yes, yes, a single torch. Greatest treasure of mankind. Okay, so... One more combat, and then we're gonna get ready for a boss fight. Gonna need to see how we'll uh, do the camping. What upgrades we have available. Uh, buffs, not upgrades, actually. A fortune waiting to be spent. Fuck, was not in time to light the torch. So we'll have to deal with stuff as it is. Okay, um, we're gonna go with the Emboldening Vapors again. And can you kill him? You cannot, because you suck. Um, frankly, we could heal, but we're about to camp, so let's track you to the front. That worked. Well, that sucks. Okay, we could get two kills or a more or less guaranteed one if we hit. Damn. That's not good. He's gonna stress us all out, I feel. And man, they really, really hate on the Plague Doctor. I don't know what's going on. Hey, at least he's already vampire. He can't get vamped up again. Oh, hey, you have another chance at the kill. That works. Let's try. Well, that's a good heal. Now, yes, resistance. Very well. Oh, hey, you actually did us a favor there for once. That's gonna be good. Um... Yeah, I think we're gonna heal him a little bit and cure the blight. That kind of works in our favor, so... 
Not quite a kill, sadly. Shit ton of vomiting around here. Oh, come on. Okay, we've dodged at the very least. Man, how I hate that shit. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go with a kill here. Okay, next up, next kill. Solid! Cyphil's really doing work. Glad to hear that. Um... We don't have a uh, corpse clearer right now, so let's heal instead. And that was actually a pretty good heal. Now we're gonna pull you to the front, clear out all the dead folk, get vomited on, because that's great fun. And hey, we resisted. Buff him up to Kingdom Come and hope he can slay our enemy. Well, if he hits, and he does, we're safe. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Okay. Um, let's give Safiel the blood. Then we're gonna go ahead and check the anti venom. Take the invitation along. Anything else we can sensibly chuck away for some gold? Not really at the moment. So that's it. Let's continue onward. And then we're gonna rest. A cure you and a trap ahead, and that's that. Okay, here we go. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Solid heal and stress recovery from the food, and now let's check our abilities. Complete stress reduction and less stress in battles, that's actually pretty great. You have the tracking, and this is how we do it. Which is gonna be one of the options we may take. The cure. Oh, shit. Disease removal, I don't think we have any disease right now. No chest crimson curse, which cannot be healed that way. Uh, you also have experimental vapors. Ooh, nice. More healing during battles. And you have unspeakable commune. For some minor stress, we prevent a nighttime ambush guaranteed. Together with that, that's actually pretty powerful. So we'd have eight down. Um that it would be 10 and this would no longer work out so okay there's a there's a bit of tinkering about right now let's just hope we don't get ambushed in the night and then we're gonna buff up one of our guys namely Safiel uh, you had the this is how we do it even tearing beasts can be killed with a well-placed blow. Indeed. Um, what other combo can we use? We have two time slots available if we go for a Salah speech. But frankly, I think I'm going with the experimental vapors for the added healing. We're gonna put it on Safiel. Well, we will not be using it then. And it fucking costs us our time. Dude, fuck you and your paranoia. Okay, um... In that case... Let Cthulhu protect our nightly rest. He can indeed feed on our dreams then. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. So let's venture forth and try to slay the sodden crew. Uh, here we have another trap, be careful. 
So, anything else we can actually use before we go in? Torches. The way Nothing else. Lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. And let's do that. Let's face the sodden crew. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders, and the crew obeys. Okay, they summon. Okay. Uh, so what we're probably gonna have to do here is drowned pullers. So they probably gonna uh, do a lot of moving about. We're gonna actually start with Safiel getting buffed again. So he's at uh, wow, 47% damage boost. Actually, that's pretty good. He's got 50% protection. Okay, let's go ahead and work on killing him. Next then, we're gonna go... We've already got dodge zero, okay. Um, but frankly, marking is good. Mutiny. Okay, not a hit good. Not sure I want to know what it does. Uh, it's a debuff, apparently. Uh, we can maybe get a kill, or we could deal immense amounts of damage as holy shit. But for now, let's actually try that. Well, not quite. Drink with the dead. Okay, so three actions. Each one of those three guys uh, in that amalgamation gets one immobilized. Okay, that's interesting. You don't even get a turn or what? Interesting. Um, in that case... I think we're gonna throw a plague grenade in there as well. Oh, okay, so yeah, you see he's got the chain. So I'd say we need to slay that bastard to free our men. Interesting mechanic, let's go for it. There we go. Okay, we do not yet need a heal. Nice! Good crit there. You are in craving mode. Nice! Not a good attack, but hey, at least he didn't attack one of ours. All hands on deck again. Another drowned puller. But frankly, let's go ahead with that. Put some solid damage down on that fucker. Okay, he's got relatively low blight resistance. So we're probably best set, but we can also go with Bolding Vapors. That's just so much more damage we can deal. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna use Bosser as a buff machine, literally. Let's go with a ta- wow! Jesus, four of us total hit points. Gone in a single blow. Precision and power. Man, that's a whole bunch of good crits there. Okay, minus damage, minus crit. Man, they really like- Confusion, nerves, and panic. Ah, okay, that heals them. Okay, another bit of info gathered here. Oh hey, he can actually move, that's pretty good. Solid kill. Okay, we go with another emboldening vapors on Safiel. He's nearly capable of putting this to an end already. He may now, I think. Yep, if he rolls maximum or a crit, we're set. Oh, Slightly disappointing. But only slightly. Okay, another hands on deck. You're going crazy because you need blood, but let's just end this. Kill the sodden crew. End them once and for all. 
cursed to float forever, deep in the swirling blackness, far beyond the light's reach. There we go! That was a interesting battle. As I mentioned, first boss fight I didn't do before at any time, so nice stuff. Let's see how much we get. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That's more or less worse, more or less, yeah, more or less worth the investment I've uh, done here. We got a slugger on Sophiel. That's good. More than melee damage skill, damage, whatever words hard, and virtue chance for wizard actually. Interesting. And hey, Yannick also ascended to level three. He's a veteran. Great shit. So, any event? Ancient and crumbling. The Abbey's masonry fares no better than the faith of its congregation. Okay, so noisy repairs. Indeed, the elements have not been kind to the old Abbey. The very soil itself seems to reject the place. Work is expected to last throughout the week. So the cloister is locked, but the transept and the penance hall are reduced in cost. That's actually quite handy, and you can see the repair uh, scaffolding going on there. Good stuff. Oh yeah, um, you don't do that stuff, and you don't either. Yannick, okay, at least you do. Go there. We're gonna send Goyo in here. Off to the bar. Uh, Bossar. Oh, you're only gambling, and that one's currently locked. Can we... All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Sadly, we do not have enough portraits to unlock uh, this one over here, which would be another slot. So, yeah. Bossard will have to wait and remain paranoid for now. So, let's check what else is available. First on the stagecoach. Nothing too important, I'd say, right now. Uh, the Nomad Wagon. A Swift Cloak, a Haste Chalice. Uh, not bad, actually. And a Campus Helmet. Not bad. Okay, but nothing again I really would say we absolutely definitely need. So let's check for available adventures for the next time. So we have a medium sized cove run. Alright, we really need to uh, get working in the warrants and the runes again. They are a bit behind the wheel and the cove in the levels, so that's not great. Here we have a Steady Bracer, range skill chance, but minus dodge. Here we have the Surgical Gloves. Oh, less move and debuff resistance, but more melee, crit and accuracy. Interesting proposition. And up here we have the level 3 run. Another Steady Bracer. But it's a short one, actually. I think this is going to be the next one we'll be doing, but that will have to wait until the next episode. So remember guys, comment, like, subscribe, uh, do it if you want. If not, all is good as well. And yeah, see you soon guys.